Huh? A lot of people think I'm dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm thriving in Los Angeles. I was kind of a drug addict, alcoholic, train wreck on a good day. It's all right, Peppa. It's all right. I caused a lot of trouble, and I was very selfish. So addicts and alcoholics are very selfish and self-obsessed. So are musicians. So when you have an alcoholic addict musician, songwriter, it's about the biggest asshole you can be. <laughs> It's like Eddie Vedder, remember Eddie Vedder? You know, when you're a drug addict, when you wake up in the morning, you have to, the first, the first thoughts are, oh my God, where am I? What's going on? I need dope. Do I have any money? All these, all the typical addict things. Well, the day of Pink Pop, I was so used to playing at 10 o'clock at night or midnight that, like, I got a bang on my door at 9.30 in the morning, we gotta go. And I was like, go fucking where? Because the further we got away from Amsterdam, the further I was getting away from heroin that was gonna get me well. So then we're there, it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, we have to play at two. I'm hungover, dope sick, and I'm like depressed and Jumping. saying I want to kill myself. <laughs> and which that's the state of mind of me at that time. Like if I couldn't get dope, if I couldn't drink, I wanted to die. I felt like I was dying. Fortunately, the wonderful people at Pink Pop put a bottle of Jägermeister in our dressing room. <laughs> Why he would put that in there, I don't know. But I drank a considerable amount of it trying to get over my dope sickness to go play. And so by the time I got out there, I don't remember where I was or what was going on. One of the camera guys had said, Oh, your friend Eddie Vedder played here last year and he jumped off the crane. Don't you do that. Like, for fucking sure I'm gonna do that. And so I think that was my climbing up on the thing was like trying to outdo Eddie. <laughs> so, and if you think about how drunk I was, I pretty much thought I was gonna climb up there and jump into the crowd. I just had no idea once I got up here how, there how high it was. It's fucking high up there. <laughs> it's a hell of a day. Oh, heroin, oh, heroin, and cocaine, and cocaine, I love them both, yeah. But they took my life, they took my friends, they won't give them back, well, I want them back, I'll give them What has it gotten me? Just some teeth I can't chew. My favorite cereal with. The way I eventually stopped is I got arrested for a bunch of crimes that I had committed over a period of years. And then all I was supposed to do is complete a six month drug program, which I never could for years and years. And then I had to make restitution. And then I had to do community service, which I volunteered at the Needle Exchange in Hollywood, and I became active and involved in helping disease not spread, HIV and hepatitis C. And so all the things the court told me to do were really good for me. All right. And now you're running a rehab center. And this is my rehab, and this is my children. And so, I mean, this is the group room, and this is Allo House Recovery Centers, and. This is one of the locations we have, and we try to help us out. <laughs> we try to do what's called compassionate care and loving and kindness, and a lot of my philosophies of just living here at Aloe House. Here I go. This is when I was going to jump off. Jump off where? Off the top. All the way to the top. Watch. How did you do that? I was younger. You were literally just like. Yeah, okay. Look at that. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Look how high it is. 
You were planning on jumping off there? Yeah, yeah. Did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a different world, Sid. That's your dad in a prior life. You're evil can evil. At a certain point, you tend to settle down and think more calmly and, and communally. And certainly having children makes you, it, you can't be selfish because, you know, you're not the center of the universe anymore. So most people go through this. I just had to go through it the hard way. I had to be extremely selfish and then becoming very selfless. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.